Hello, welcome to Jigun Global Education. In this series, Master Java with a hand on labs, we'll learn how to set up an environment to run a Java files. That means we'll see how can you run a Java program without an IDE. This is helpful. It will help you to understand how exactly a Java file is executed on your IDE. Why start by this? Let's assume that when, for instance, you are in a primary school, your first day of school, they give you a calculator to just type the, uh, the numbers and do some calculation. Of course, you will not understand how the calculation is done. So the same way here. If you start directly in ID usually, you don't know exactly how the file is compiled, how the file is executed on the laptop on your computer so for this reason you in this step will see step by step approach to know how a java file is compiled and run and get the output so the main objective <coughs> is to help you to try to install the configuration about your java different kit which is a tool that will help you to recognize the java file it's like now if you write a simple program without gdk it will not recognize the file because we need a java environment a java gdk that will help to recognize that the file you run is writing that is writing by java is recognized by your laptop okay for instance, like uh, when you have a Windows, but you don't have some drivers before, like before when we have uh, Windows 7, we can see that sometimes when you install your Windows, we need some drivers so that the system, your OS, we can recognize the Wi-Fi driver or some kind of driver. Same idea here. Even we have operating system. If you don't have GDK, any Java file will not recognize by your operating system. So this is the objective and the idea behind the GDK. So the first step is to download the GDK. We can download from Oracle GDK or uh, other website like Adobe, uh, Adobe or Microsoft. So let's assume that we want to download it from Oracle. So when you go to the Oracle, uh, Oracle website you can see that here you have the file that you need to download then after you download it on Windows you just need to run the installer file and you follow this step next next until the end okay so we do one example on Windows but of course on Mac OS you have also the link that we give and if you need more tutorials about uh, uh, how to set up on mac or linux let me know in the comments okay so in windows basically you will see exactly where you have uh, uh, if you go to open the environment variable you open system advanced which will show you later how we can find this uh, environment and uh, edit it and add new path okay Basically on Windows, after you install the GDK, it will go on Program Files, Java GDK, where the X is your Java version, as you can see here, and you save it. In Linux similarly, you can find it on this path, which is uh, for usually for Mac or Linux system. Okay, and after the installation, you have to check if the GDK installation is correct. As you can see a java version or java c and you can see exactly then after we are sure that now our gdk the platform is ready you can write a file to test and for that we need to create a folder where you have our all files or for instance i can we can just call it java labs where we will add our files and to create the files you need any text editor like vs core or notepad plus plus okay as you can see then you write and try to test your java file as you can see here okay so let's do this step by step from where to download until the installation 
for instance if you come on google you can see where exactly you can download the application which one uh, the gdk for instance we just need to write gdk java so you see by default he will tell you exactly for the oracle because now the oracle is the owner of java it's not anymore son so when you come here as you can see you have different environment linux mac windows for instance in our case is windows then you go to download this file we can also download this one or zip for advanced user so the easiest way is to download this one and you follow the steps okay so since me i have already installed it let's see here for instance if you go to program file as we said you can see java then now i have two version of gdk let's assume is this one i want to configure so here i will take the gdk and uh, the file as we say in the tutorial the bin and try to you copy the path okay so where to put it we say that we need have to put it in the uh advanced uh, uh environment uh, in the path where we can see easily here in computer properties then you can go to advanced uh, system settings okay then here we can see easily we have our environment variable okay then here you go down to try to see where you can have the path here's our path then you edit it then after editing you see you have option new then when it's a new you type a your what you have copied there in the java so since me i have already done it as you can see here we have our gd k version and the bin that is okay then you say okay okay to save okay so now after you do this to check if it's okay you can type the command prompt here to open it then now you just type your java version as you can see here let's make here you can the java version if the installation is okay you can easily see the java version which one so you see as you can see here he show me the java version that i am running on my laptop that is it now we need a text editor as i say we can find for instance maybe welcome file that you want welcome sorry welcome public class welcome okay right then now we do our public static environment as you can see here by the way here ax is just an argument so many people think always you have to put uh, we can put even a law because it's just a string any name we give to this thing is okay is okay it will not affect our code so here we have our public static environment that you write let's say you want to print a c file i just write java c to compile then after the class name that is welcome.java if there is no any syntax error or compile time error you will see the dot class that will be generated in this folder let's type so that's mean no error and we can see here easily our welcome class is generated then after we do that now we can call the java to print the output of the class and this time is just welcome without the extension if there is no error everything be nice and you can see we have our hello java file in the is way so that is uh, all for this uh, first series of step by step under java so thank you for any comment let me know if you also want a particular tutorial you let me know thank you and see you for the next uh, video